you have 25 minutes, how do you fully utilize them? Lots of people complain about the insanely stingy time limit that the SAT gives for writing a coherent, witty, entertaining essay. But what they don't know is that with proper planning and practice, an entire essay can be written with 5 minutes to spare for checking. How do we do that? When the proctor says you may turn the page and begin now, give yourself a few seconds of reading time. When I say a few seconds, I really do mean a few seconds because that question page contains a lot of superfluous information that would just waste your time if you tried reading it lock, stock and barrel. The only thing worth reading here is the prompt found here on the page. This prompt is usually a yes-no question that you can take a clearly defined stand on. We talked about this just not too long ago. Then use 5 minutes for brainstorming time. Think of 3 or 4 examples related to the prompt and write them down so that you don't forget. You can read the stuff in the box for inspiration if you get stuck and can't think about what to write. But once you've taught up the examples, listen to what the examples tell you. If they agree with the prompt, then your stand should be that you concur, and vice versa. Under this level of stress, it's generally easier to think of your examples first, then decide your stand instead of deciding your stand and finding out later that you can't think of any more examples to support your point. If you don't believe me, you can experiment with this during your essay practice time and find out which works for you. After brainstorming, immediately start writing your essay using the hamburger model that we covered in the previous checkpoints. You'll find that it's perfectly possible to finish writing everything within 15 minutes. This means that on average, you should spend no more than 3 minutes on each of your 5 paragraphs. Write fast, write neatly, and remember to fill up all the space provided. So all of these put together, after all of that, you will probably have about a 4-5 to five minute buffer time. This is checking time, it's for you to relax, and it's for you to look through your magnum opus one last time. So to recap, at the start, use a few seconds to read the prompt, immediately think up a few examples that relate to the particular essay. At the end of the five minutes, look through the examples that you have taught up. Do the examples argue for or against the case given in the prompt? Take that and use it as your stand. Spend 15 minutes madly writing the essay, break a wrist, and you at least have a couple of minutes left to check your work.